America's most talked about program, brought to you by the Wishy Washy Washing Machine Company of Walla Walla, Washington. And now, here he is, Mr. This is a Life himself, Elmer Fudd. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Tonight, we add another name to the long list of those we have honored. Someone here in our audience is our guest of honor, and no one knows who it will be. He is a beloved character who has made his name in motion pictures, one who is thoughtful of others. That's me. It's gonna be me. A sparkling personality, generous, charitable, self-effacing. <laughs> this would be embarrassing if it weren't true. And what is your name, sir? Daffy Duck's the name. As if it weren't inscribed in gold on that little old book. <laughs> you master showman, you. You may precede me to the stage, sir. Aren't you, Bugs Bunny? Who, me? Never mind him. We've only got a short time to do my interesting career. Let's get on with it. Read the name. Good and loud, mister. Bugs Bunny. <laughs> What's up, Doc? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Wile E. Coyote. Genius. I am not selling anything, nor am I working my way through college. I so let's get down to cases. You are a rabbit, and I am going to eat you for supper. Now, don't try to get away. I am more muscular, more cunning, faster and larger than you are, and I'm a genius. While you could hardly pass the entrance examinations to kindergarten. So I'll give you the customary two minutes to say your prayers. I'm sorry, Mac. The lady of the house ain't home. And besides, we mailed you people a check last week. <laughs> Why do they always want to do it the hard way? Palm Springs at last. Yahoo! Good old Palm Springs! Yee -hee! Yee -hee! Queen of the desert but Daffy. spas! Land of beautiful girls! But Daffy! Pools. Yee -hee! Daffy! <laughs> you and your short. I told you to turn west at East St. Louis. Yeah, I know. Way I figure it, we're somewhere in the Himalayas Mountains. That's pronounced Himalaya. Himalayas? Why, you four-legged Marco Polo, that's in Asia. Himalayas. No wonder it's so cold. <laughs> Look, Dad, I've got a wonderful idea. Let's... Oh, pal, do me a favor, will you? Just, just don't do me any more favors. You just stay right here and study to be a snowshoe rabbit. I'm going back to Perth Amboy. All right, what's holding up the works? What's all the, the, the... Oh, what a cute little pink bunny rabbit. Just what I always wanted, my own little bunny rabbit. I will name him George, and I will hug him and pet him and squeeze him. I'm not a bunny rabbit. And pat him and pet him and... You are hurting me. Put me down, please. And rub him and caress him and... I ain't no bunny rabbit! Uh-oh. Now, where'd that soap go? Ow! Hey, what's going on around here? What the... Yikes, I'm bleeding. Help, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. Don't just stand there, shorty, I'm bleeding. Get a doctor, get a doctor, hurry, hurry. I'm hurt bad. Oh, agony. <laughs> and a good day to you, too. Uh, right on time for your annual checkup, I see. All right, now, uh, open your mouth and say, ah. Uh. 
Hmm. That looks pretty bad. I guess we'll have to paint it. Can't take chances with any of them streptococcuses, you know. Now then, uh, let's test the reflexes. Yow! Fifteen inches. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> Tell me, uh, do you see spots before your eyes? Uh, uh yeah, uh, yeah. Little bitty spots. Oh, you're in bad shape. Here, look in this mirror and see for yourself. Ooh. Ain't it awful? You good, bad old George. Uh, look, Doc, I, I know where there's a real bunny rabbit, a, a, a very cuddly and, and a fubsy rabbit. And then, after a carrot burger and a malt in Albuquerque... Oh, Bugsy! Bugsy, buddy! Oh, hi. Uh, what's up, Doc? Come here, old pal. Hmm. My oh. own little bunny rabbit. I... Hey, an abominable snowman! I will name him George and I will hug him and pet him. Oh, sure. I know I'm a louse, but I'm a live louse. And I will give him security. And I will keep him warm like a mother hen so he will never feel rejected or lack for love. Poor old bugs. But any way you look at it, it's better he should suffer. After all, it was me or him, and obviously it couldn't be me. It's a simple matter of logic. I'm not like other people. I can't stand pain. It hurts me. Okay, a bomb. Here's your bunny rabbit. The uh, bunny rabbit, George? Bunny rabbit? Me? Yes, you, Doc. Ho, oh, oh, ho, very funny. Ha, ha, very droll. Hey, Shorty, what do you consider to be the distinguishing characteristics of a rabbit? The, uh, distinguishing character. Uh, yeah, yeah, what makes a rabbit look like a rabbit? Why, uh, they're long ears. And whom around here has long ears? Sorry to have to do this to you, bud. Eh, don't give it a second thought. Oh, boy, just what I always wanted, my own little bunny rabbit. They really do make a charming couple. <laughs> Over a 
tree-leaf clover that I overlook B3. Well, back to the old drawing board. Let's begin where you and I met. Oh, you were the cute little wasco. I remember I was out hunting. That's him. That's a coward chewing wasco. He's getting warmer, John. Warmer. Warmer. No, 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 no. He's getting colder. No, nah, colder. Last, after 2,000 years of work, the Illudium Q36 Explosive Space Modulator. Eh, pardon me, sir, but could you... At long last, my dream come true. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. <laughs> eh, yeah, pardon me, Doc, but could you rent me a U-Dry flying saucer? I've got to get back to the Earth. The Earth? Oh, the Earth will be gone in just a few seconds. Oh, well, uh, don't bother, then. No point in wasting money on a flying saucer when the Earth's not gonna... Oh! Uh, pardon me again, Doc, but uh, just what did you mean by that crack about the Earth being gone? Oh, uh, I'm going to blow it up. It obstructs my view of Venus. It does? That's a shame. Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. The Illudium Pew 36 explosive space modulator. That creature has stolen the space modulator. Delays, delays. <laughs> Capture that creature and return the Illudium Pew 36 explosive space modulator. What's up, Doc? Shh, there's a wabbit down there, and I'm trying to catch him. Uh, what do you mean, a uh, wabbit? Wabbits, wabbits. You know, with big, long ears. Oh, like this? Yeah, and a little white fluffy tail. Like this? Yep. And he hops around and around. Oh, like this? You know, I believe this fella is a R-A-B-B-I-T. Me, but you know, you look just like a wabbit. And uh, come here. Listen, Doc. Now, don't spread this around. But, uh, confidentially, I am a wabbit! Voice from your past. 
Do you recognize it? Well, I know that ornery flea-bitten critter from way back. That's, uh... That's right, Yosemite Sam, the roughest, toughest hombre that ever locked horns with a rabbit. Yeah, I'll never forget the time I had this moth-eating critter cornered aboard my ship. I'll keel haul you for this. for your appointment, yeah? So, what's the defenses? Just relaxing on telling me about your id when you was a kid, yeah? Me first remember a long time ago in Tasmania. I was only three years old, but I was mean little devil. <laughs> yeah, mean little devil. Ha, ha, ha. That's very funny. It don't talk so fast. I gotta write it down the good stuff. Uh-oh, uh five o'clock. Time to close the shop. You tell me about it next time, yeah? Yeah, I have come to give myself up on account of I cannot fight no more against such genius. A wise decision, my friend. You have just saved yourself from a fate worse than the frying pan. I have only one last request. I have made out my last will and testament, but I need a witness to make it official. Would you sign it with his fountain pen? Certainly, my boy. Delighted to be of service. <laughs> Very amateurish attempt on my person. Being a genius certainly has its advantages. Brilliance. That's all I can say. Sheer, unadulterated brilliance. Ah, my darling. How beautiful you are. How devastating. How lucky. Little did you dream that one day you would marry a genius. Fight fire with fire, I always say. Wait a minute. Bunny rabbits don't have feathers and bills. I know, I know. There goes your bunny rabbit. Hey, uh, uh George, wait. Oh, ho, ho. look out, bunny rabbit. This I gonna flee. And I searched and I searched. Who taught? But I never caught up with my little bunny rabbit. Gee, that's tough, Mr. Abdomina Bubble. And now I'll never, gosh, it's hot, never see my bunny rabbit again. Don't give up hope yet, Doc. If you love him, he'll come back. Well, here I am. Massacre started yet? Fireworks gone off? Balloon gone up? Uh, oh, boy, a bunny rabbit. Just what I always wanted. I will name him George. And I will hug him and squeeze him and pet him and pat him and... Hey. Hey, what do you know? He melted. He really was a snowman. Abominable, that is. Abominable.